Hey guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we've discussed what a clutch is and some of its types. In those types, there are rotating plates which serve as a frictional surface. But today, we're going to discuss a clutch that has a different frictional surface area. This video is about the cone clutches. We'll be discussing what a cone clutch is, its construction, working, applications, advantages and disadvantages. So let's get into the topic. The cone clutch is a type of friction clutch that has cone-shaped frictional areas. These types of clutches are commonly used in synchro mesh and epicycling gearboxes. Now, let's see the construction of a cone clutch. It consists of a male and female cone part. The flywheel bolted to the engine crankshaft is connected to the female part and the female part acts as the driving member. The male part is made up of two units. One is the central hub and the other is the outer cone part. The cone part is made of aluminium and the hub is made of steel for strength. The hub of the male part is splined and mounted over the input shaft of transmission and it can move axially over it. The contact surfaces of the male and female parts are lined with friction material. There's also a spring which presses the male part against the female part and there's a throwout bearing connected to the male part for disengaging the parts. Now let's see how this clutch works. When the clutch is engaged, the male part presses against the female part because of the springs. Now the male part is present completely inside the female part with its friction surfaces in contact. When the engine rotates, the female part connected to the engine rotates. And due to the friction between the cone plates, the male part rotates as well. Thus, the motion gets transmitted from the driving member to the driven member. But when the driver presses the clutch pedal, the linkage moves the throwout bearing. This in turn moves the male cone away from the female cone resulting in the disengagement of the clutch. As soon as the driver relieves the clutch pedal, the male part returns to its original position. Thus, the re-engagement of clutch occurs. Cone clutches can transfer high torque when compared with the plate clutches of the same size and so they are preferred in racing vehicles and extreme off-road vehicles. As the mating surfaces are in the shape of a wedge, less effort is required to operate the clutch but this has its own disadvantage. If the angle of the cone is large, then the effort required to disengage the clutch will be more. On the other hand, even a small wear in the cone surface interrupts the proper working of the clutch and the faces should be dressed periodically. So that's all about the cone clutch guys. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Until the next one, bye.